Stephanie was is more me. I mean, it's you know, this is not autobiographical, but I really I know who she is. She has my background. We're both we come from working class people. We're we're blue collar, um, first to graduate from college, um, not especially brave, not especially good at many things. Um, but you know, we have tenacity and um and we have friends and family. And so I know I know a lot about her. I know how she reacts. When I when I decided that I was going to do my version of Midnight Run, um, I knew nothing about bounty hunters or bail bondsmen. And so I went out and um, hung. I was I was living in Fairfax, Virginia, which is right on the Beltway of Washington D.C. And I went out and I um, hung out with some actual bounty hunters which was amazing because, I mean, you know, we went in these very high crime areas that were in DC, um, rode along with them and uh, tried to figure out what they did, how I wanted to translate that to Stephanie. And, um, and Stephanie didn't take on very many of those characteristics, but Ranger did. Um, they became Ranger and I, you know, in, eventually enhanced Ranger. And Ranger is the one character in the series that has had a, a lot of growth. Um, I try to make a little growth in each of the characters, but Ranger has changed over the years. Uh, I hung out with uh, uh, Bill Bondsman, um, who I was, it's an amazing industry. Um, and actually in New Jersey, um, they changed the laws um, and there, there are no more bail bondsmen in New Jersey. So we're pretending that doesn't, that's not the case. But, um, but, I, but I hung out with a lot of bail bondsmen. I learned about the industry. I hung out with the cops in Trenton. Um, they, were, they were great. They, they, you know, they had me walking around. I, I am not a gun person. I had never touched a gun, um, but I, I learned how to shoot. You know, I, I learned, I carried pepper, pepper spray. Um, I got a stun gun, you know, um, practiced with all these things so I could see what that was about. I would spend time in the police station there um, and they did take me through, you know, um, they would walk me through um, where people were being um, held in the cages and um, uh, and I haven't been back to Trenton in a while. So I imagine some of it has changed but at, at the time, you know, um, the benches where they would, you know, chain people to them. And, um, you know, I, I mean, and, I mean, cops, cops have this, um, this black sense of humor. I mean, they have to, it's, it's, it's a hard job. It's a very hard job. And staying a good person as a cop is a hard job. All of the people that I knew, did that they were they were just amazing but you know they and they they had you know a sense of humor about um you know yeah we had to you know give them a shot of pepper spray and and i and, we, and then we chain them you know to then it was a wooden bench we chain them to the bench and they sit there and they wait to get booked and and so I wanted to have my picture taken. So I said, well, I'll sit on the bench. You, no, no, you don't want to sit on that bench. <laughs> you, you, don't, you don't want to go anywhere near there because once you get pepper spray, you know, um, your nose runs and your eyes run. And, and yeah. so, um, you know, it was, it was stuff like that. You know, um, they locked me up in a cell and um, <laughs> see how, how, how that felt. That wasn't, that wasn't so good.